Look hard into my piercing blue eyes, and you'll notice that my soul is finally back in my body. I'm feeling much better, so I thought I'd celebrate by watching some more horrible pickup artistry attempts on TikTok, because it puts a smile on my face, and I really think that that's a great benefit to the entire human body. And you know what else is a great benefit to the human body? Gamer Sups. Gamer Sups is the best beverage ever invented, period. I don't mean just the best energy drink ever made, I mean the best drink ever made. Your body craves Gamer Sups more than it craves water. It's up there with like the blood of Christ. I can't recommend it enough. My favorite flavor is Titty Milk, so shout out Jay Schlatt for that incredible flavor. I think every flavor is extremely good. It's an extremely fantastic drink and I can't recommend it enough so if you want to get started on Gamersups you can click the link in the description below or use code moist at gamersups.gg to get a big discount on your order. So I paid a visit to one of my favorite pickup artists. I, I don't know if that's the right nomenclature here because I don't believe he self-identifies as a pickup artist but it's a TikToker who's been doing pickup lines to women very very often for a very long time and it's as they say the first thousand no's are just the warm-up, the intro. They're still, you know, you're, you're still hitting your power spike. So pretty much all of his content is using these pickup lines that don't work at all. I, now, I don't want, like, anyone to go harass him or anything like that, so I'm not going to be, like, saying his channel or anything. I wanted to showcase some of his more recent best of moments, as well as a couple of other goofy ones that I saw from a Cody Ko video as well. Because Cody Ko is like this incredible archaeologist at finding horrible Riz, I suppose. And I am envious of his ability to track down such holy artifacts. So I'm going to show you two from that. Damn, I just spent 30 bucks in there. But... Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Can I get your number? No? Can I get your hey? Can I get your number? I have a boyfriend. Can I get your number? Um, I have a boyfriend. Can I get your number? I'm lesbian. Can I get your number? Can I, can I get your number? Actually, all have Can I get yo? This man was so focused on one goal in mind, he was about to start asking the dudes there until his brain pumped the brakes on it. He was so preoccupied with whether or not he could, he never stopped to think whether or not he should until he did, and then decided he didn't want the men's numbers. Which I think is a bit of a misstep. Even if he's not interested in having sex with these gentlemen, he could at least, you know, be friends with them, perhaps. You know, maybe he ends up forming a basketball team with them. And honestly, he could play this off for the, the women around and be like, no, I'm actually asking everyone in here, regardless of their gender, for their number. In fact, I'm putting together the Toon Squad. We gotta take on the Monstars, and I, you know, I'm holding tryouts, so what's your number? There's, like, plenty of ways to play with that. Instead of just <laughs> cowardly be like, hey, can I, ooh, and then walk away when he realizes it's dudes. But anyway, it's as Cody Co said, this guy is just a stats man. He knows a hundred rejections don't matter because maybe there'll be one yes in there and that makes it all worth it. This is clearly a pad one who's been trained by some of the great Reddit dating gurus from back in 2010, back when they used to preach this thing where it's like, ask every single woman you ever see for her number. And it doesn't matter if you get rejected 10, 20,000 times because eventually someone's going to say yes. So all those failures will be worth it. And it's like, well, maybe, you know, if you're getting rejected that many times, it's you're doing something a little creepy. Like, there's definitely a level of self-reflection necessary there. Here, he was doomed from the start because the very first no he got just became a snowball effect and ended up in an avalanche of rejection. There was no world where this was going to work. He just coming up cold turkey asking for their number obviously isn't going to lead to overwhelming success and then every other girl sees that you have done that and it just exudes desperation so they're not going to be the person to say yeah i'll give you my number in no universe would that happen so every girl's just going to say no to him for sure uh, no, excuse me can i get your number 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 Anyway, that completes the speed run for the world record any percent route for rejections. This was a gold split for sure. I counted, it was 12 no's. So, pretty impressive. If we're going to count the group of dudes, it would take it to 15 no's. So, depending on, you know, what route you want to calculate here, it's between 12 and 15 no's in a matter of 40 seconds. So, very impressive. That is a tough one to beat. But would you believe me if I told you that that's not even his worst showing? The next clip I'm about to show you from him is actually even more rancid. Now, I will say, 
I couldn't find the original videos here from the accounts, so I can't say with 100% certainty it's the same guy, but I'm pretty confident that it is. Hey, excuse me? Can you, can you turn, excuse me? Uh, I have a question. I'm trying to, oh my God, you're beautiful. I'm trying to get your number. No? Why do people post these? Is it because I'm ugly? Oh, fuck. Just look at the way these women respond to him trying to get their attention because it's so aggressive. Oh, it's like they turned around because they just heard someone yell bomb in an airport. Like, holy shit. They just look frightened and on edge immediately in this guy's presence. It's like in Bleach where they have that spiritual pressure that you can just feel sometimes and it like slaps people to the ground. That's what they're experiencing, like this overwhelming spiritual pressure of cringe and they're like, oh, oh, ah! like turning around slowly as if it's a horror movie. Oh, man. Whew, but yeah, it's it's a very aggressive thing. Just like, excuse me, can you, can you fucking turn around and face me, please? <laughs> Come on. Hello? And the woman that he tries to riz up can't even pretend for a single millisecond to be interested in this conversation with the weirdo. So when he does tell her that she's beautiful, she hits him with like one of my creepy smiles. She gives him one of these. Uh, like, oh. And then still he has the gall to ask for her number. And then just for the nice cherry on top, he asks if, it be, if it's because he's ugly, to which she just says yes. I'm assuming she was just playing along with it just to get him away from there, which worked. I mean, mission accomplished. Hey, excuse me? Hello. I actually think you're uh, perfect. What? I think you're perfect. For what? Like, just, just look life? amazing. Yeah. Well, oh, thank you. nobody's perfect in life, but <laughs> you look perfect as well. Yeah, thank um, you. can I Appreciate take you out for like a Big Mac or something? No. Well, are you vegan or something? No, I have a boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that makes a little more sense. But you have a good one. This one's not really bad or anything. I, I want to put this one here because there's something I want to talk about around it. So, of course, it's always uncomfortable when you say something and the person you say it to doesn't really understand what you're getting at. So when he says you're perfect, she's confused, wondering, like, what does that mean? I'm perfect for what? Thinking that he must be recruiting her for something, like the Avengers or some shit, perhaps. I have no clue. But, you know, to be caught off guard and then not know what you're saying and then have to explain it, just makes every situation a little more uncomfortable. But overall, this could have been a wholesome exchange if he didn't tack on the last part about going to get a Big Mac together or something. That makes it now a little uncomfortable and, and stinky. But just a passing compliment to someone I actually think goes a long way. I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but when I was in my... It was either freshman or sophomore year of college. I don't remember now. It was when I started to get, like, big. That was during my more jacked yoke stage of, like, fitness. And I was walking to my art class and I was carrying this bundle of art supplies and I was in a tank top because I had just finished at the gym. And these two dudes, I think they were on the lacrosse team, walked by me and they said, damn, you look strong as hell. And oh my God, I, I was like an anime character. Like when, when the senpai gives them attention, I started blushing. I was like, whoa, me? <laughs> Just this super quick fleeting passing moment, nothing romantic, doesn't mean anything at all, that actually just was a super nice thing. Like we just went our separate ways and I just thought like, hey, that was a nice thing to say. So I really do think there's a lot of positivity around just giving someone a nice compliment. You know, not expecting anything out of it, not overstepping boundaries and making it weird. And I think he was super close to accomplishing that. But then his brain flipped on to like, need to get pussy, need to turn this into a date, and then of course it made it weird. Excuse me, miss? Hey, I know the gym isn't the place to, you know, meet somebody, but uh, we could just tell our parents we met on Tinder or something. Sorry? I know this isn't the place to like, meet somebody, like the gym, but we could just tell our parents we met on Tinder. This is such a common occurrence for our protagonist here. Oftentimes, the women that he approaches end up very confused. Like, they just got hit by some kind of, you know, fucking solar flare from Piccolo. They're like, what is happening? <laughs> like, what are you saying to me right now? This is the worst one I've seen from him, though. This is, like, extremely painful. This is a girl who's just doing her workout, minding her business, and he still comes up to her and, of course, camera in the face, which is always fucking awful and jarring and then just spits out some goofy shit that she is not understanding because she's not expecting to just be hit on here in the middle of her workout she was probably expecting him to come up and ask how many sets she had left because he wanted to use the equipment 
and that's not what ha- it, what's happening. And he's trying to like talk over her earbuds, and then she eventually has to take one out so she can hear a little bit better, and it's still not making sense. It is a disaster. It is a fucking catastrophe. A Category 5 hurricane of cringe. Like, Isn't that a place to meet someone, but what? But we could just tell our parents we met on Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, Tinder's like a dating app. Okay. Yeah, so can I take down your number? I'm and... not trying to date anybody. Uh, I'm not trying to date you too. We just go wash our cars or something like that. What do you mean? Like wash our cars. It's also a workout. Wash cars? Wash our cars, yeah. <laughs> no. Are you interested or no? No. Oh, okay. You have a good one. What in tarnation just happened there? I don't know how it went from Tinder to we could just wash our cars. Like... The wheels fell off of this one really quick. The fucking wagon blew up. Like, I I don't know what happened there. And I follow these kind of bad pickup artist kind of shit. I have no clue what happened to the dialogue tree in this interaction. But it, it went cattywampus really quick. Wow. <laughs> it's it's a lot. You're getting some shoes, right? Yeah. How much do you need? How much you need? Dude, I just paid for my shoes. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a little too late, right? Yeah, you are. How about like They're dinner? Good, thank you. We've, we've got it. <laughs> they good. I'm good too, man. Okay. Yeah. I am extremely familiar with this guy's content. I have seen more of his videos than I have episodes of One Piece. And I'm on episode 464. And out of all the videos of his I've watched, this is his worst one in my opinion. I don't know who convinced him this was a good idea. But this was, without a doubt, the worst fucking attempt at anything romantic I have ever seen. To come up to a stranger as she's paying for her items at a store and try and flex with a couple hundred dollar bills that you will pay for it is so weird and creepy that even the cashier made a look to her friend to like, you know, hey, is is everything okay? And then tries to step in to save them from you. Holy shit. That couldn't have been worse. That actually couldn't have been worse. I think that's a good stopping point for today. That's really about it. See ya.